Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a review on this OXO conical coffee grinder with integrated scale. So this scale, this uh, coffee grinder with a scale built in retails for $300. Now I will be doing a comparison video comparing it to the OXO $99 um, grinder that I absolutely love. Okay, so there's a lot going on with this grinder. We've got the vessel. This is where the coffee, when it's ground up, is gonna go. This screws on for easy storage we've got this little stainless steel uh, plate that's going to be on top of the scale up here this is where you're going to put the coffee beans and then to select the grind size fine number one is fine and they got like a picture of a porta filter for espresso that's for a drip coffee maker is eight that's a medium grind and then for coarse they've got kind of like a french press that's all the way over to 15 and so that's how you adjust the grind size Okay, so let's go take a look at the grinder. To take the, the bean hopper off, you're gonna press this button down and rotate this to the unlock. That activates that trap door so that I can take this off. Even if this is full of coffee beans, they're not gonna come falling out. Okay, so there's the conical burr grinder. We can take this apart, lift this little handle here and just rotate it to the left and it comes apart. That's as far apart as you can take it. Now there are no fine adjustments. Now to put this back in, Put it in and then rotate it till you kind of hear a click and then put the handle down. Okay, get the bean hopper, line up the unlock. Kind of, You have to kind of push down and rotate it till it snaps. Okay, so I've got it plugged in. Let's talk about the display. So it's got three different modes. This is kind of like the, the port of filter is like a manual mode. It's gonna start and stop when you start it with the switch and stop it with the switch. Let's go over to the other mode. You're gonna press and hold this button. They light up, but you have to rotate this dial. That's cups. Press that. Now I can do zero to 12 cups and it'll stop according to what the scale thinks is five or six cups. Now I press and hold the button again. Now see they're kind of just barely lit up, rotated to grams and kind of like, okay, accept it. Now it's grams, zero all the way up to One hundred and twenty five grams. Press it again. I can rotate back to the manual mode. Press it. And again, it's going to start and stop on my commands. When I'm in the other modes, it's automatic according to what you have set. So again, it's a little tricky. You got to press and hold this. They're kind of like dim. Rotate it over. Press it again. Now when I select it, that's how you start it. I can manually stop it, but it will stop on its own. Okay, so on the front, we've got this little dial here. It's got one, two, two positions to the right and two positions to the left. So in the middle, this only comes into play on the cups. And again, this is called the strength selector. So when it's in the middle, it's gonna grind eight grams per cup. If you wanna go um, nine grams per cup, you just go over to the right one. If you wanna go 10 grams per cup, go two. I can go seven or six, but I'm gonna leave it right in the middle. And again, it only works on the cups. It doesn't work on the grams or the, or the uh, espresso. Okay, so sometimes you have to zero this scale. Uh, when I first plugged mine in, my scale was all off. So I recommend the first thing you should do is zero it. Now it's very easy to do. You gotta make sure that this, this metal plate's installed. This is installed. Then you're simply going to press and hold this until there's a countdown timer. It's going to turn red and when it gets to zero that means it's zeroed everything that's on here yeah and make sure that this is empty so now it's ready to go okay so i've got it on a drip coffee maker which is a medium grind i've got the strength on eight i've got it on cups so let's go ahead and turn this all the way to 12 and then you just press the start button So the display is counting up. It's showing you, okay, I've got four cups already ground, then it's gonna go to five. It's a very quiet grinder. Now again, it stopped automatically once it got to 12. Okay, so let's take this out. Let's just see how it did. Let's just check it. 
Very easy to dump the whole contents out. Not a lot of static electricity built up. So there's what it looks like. That's a medium grind. Now your display will turn off after 20 seconds. So it's got a really quick power down, but as soon as you put something on the scale, you can see. So I put this back on the scale and it is zero. So I have removed all the coffee out of it. Okay, so let's try a really fine setting. Let's go all the way, let's go like the two. And let's pretend, let's go, oh, let's change the mode. Let's go over to call manual. So I'm gonna start it. And again, I have to manually stop it. The scale is not going to work when you're in this manual mode. Okay, so this is really fine. Oh yeah, that did a good job. That's a very fine grind. Very even. Very nice. Okay, so let's do a coarse grind. Very easy to adjust. Let's go, not all the way, but let's go 13. And now let's change the setting. Again, they're kind of dim. Let's go to grams. Let's do, let's say we want to do 16 grams. So it got to 16 grams really quick. Again, that's not very much. Now let's say we want to go to a total. I left the coffee that's in there. Let's go to some more. You can add more to what you have in there already. Let's go to 60 grams. It's going to count up. Okay. Okay, so let's see how this did. Again, this is a course, yeah. That's for like, oh, a cold brew coffee maker. Yeah, looks like it did a pretty good job with it. And so again, I took, I emptied this, put it back on, and now it shows zero. So I know that I'm zeroed out because I did remove all the coffee and it's correct. Okay, so let's do some measurements. So where the coffee comes out starts about two and about three. Height-wise, you're looking at about four inches. Overall height is right at 14 inches. And front to back, you're looking at about nine inches. It's got a two-prong cord and it's 41 inches long. And it does come with a very useful manual, manual that explains all the different um, settings and what to use. So this is a very nice manual. Okay, so this coffee grinder is $300. That does seem a little high for a coffee grinder. I do think it, it's nice, it looks nice, it works very well, it's very accurate. It does a good job grinding coffee. But I really do like my KitchenAid coffee grinder. It's only $200 and it's got a digital display that works very, very well. And then we come over here to this one, it's kind of their original one, it's $100. So there's a big price difference. This is an excellent, excellent coffee grinder here. And so I'm gonna be also doing a review on this OXO uh, cold brew coffee maker. And I also got their eight cup coffee maker I'm gonna be doing a review on. I got their precision scale, which I'm gonna be doing a review on. And I got their adjustable uh, kettle. So I'll put a link to this in the show description notes. Underneath the video, if you see the word see more and you click on that, that's gonna take you to the full description of the video. There'll be links in there. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the, click on the link, the product doesn't cost you anymore, but I do get a commission from the sale. If you click the thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And also the subscribe button. So thanks everybody for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe.